welcome to this first look at Hot Wheels Unleashed. Um, so I've had a couple of hours playing around with this so far, and I'll be perfectly honest, I'm really enjoying it. It's not without its shortcomings, but overall it's a really solid um, arcade racer. So what I want to do first of all is just get the um, cons out of the way. So only a couple really. One, it is quite a a big-ish one and that is how you unlock um, new vehicles so it's it's kind of a loot box mechanism you either buy um, blind crates as they're called or you earn them through completing events and that will randomly give you a car um, and it's a bit random as a result it's a loot box mechanism of course it's random idiot um, but it, it's a bit frustrating if you're after a particular car. Um, and obviously you can get dupes. You can then disassemble those dupes and use them um, to use the resulting parts to upgrade your cars. Um, but And there is a mechanism where you can buy um, a limited selection of cars for a limited period of time. But it's, it's a bit frustrating being perfectly honest and... Call me simple and straightforward, but I'd just like a showroom where you could go and buy them. Call it a toy shop and you can go in and buy them. Would have worked much better for me. Um, and that really, for me, is, is about it on the cons. The rest are all pros. It looks great. It really, really does look absolutely brilliant. This is the PC version I'm playing, so you're looking at here. Um, the physics on it, they haven't tried going a full-blown weird arcadey kart racer type physics that the physics are close to how you imagine a hot wheels car would be being perfectly honest to a degree um it, it's very straightforward and simple you've got your steering you've got your uh, accelerator and you've got your brake and dabbing the brake as you turn initiates a drift which are fairly easy to catch and hold um, drifting and other activities will build boost hit the x button a button whatever your controller button is and bang your boost away you go um, so it's fairly straightforward in that regard but th there's a reasonable amount of depth in it and what I really like is in particular when you uh, hit something else or you crash the solid nature of Hot Wheels car um, is really well represented and it actually feels like you're kind of like a kid smacking a couple of Hot Wheels cars together. So it, it's quite satisfying in that regard and there does seem to be a reasonable amount of depth underneath that physics engine. Don't get me wrong, it, it's not anything close to a sim, it's never going to be, but there is some depth and nuance in there and as a result it's really good fun. Um, and it really suits the tracks and the layouts, and they've done that extremely well. I've only had a very quick play around with the track builder, but there seems to be an awful lot of scope in there um, for using it. There's a really nice little livery editor, um, which not only allows you to change the paint schemes and the colours, but also allows you to change the materials as well um, across pretty much everything from the interior to the exterior to the wheels to the tires um, so yeah there's a lot going on with the livery editor and you can share them online as well so it's quite nicely done in that regard um, audio is a bit bare bones but it does what it needs to do um, and there's a lot to do race wise the online at the moment I haven't played around with a huge amount but does appear to be fairly bare bones as well but overall um, it, it's a it's a solid little title and it's one of the most enjoyable arcade style races of this type I've played in quite a long time. Um, oh, sorry, there is another con um, and I do apologise for that. There's a I think around about 66 cars in the base package to start off with, which is a reasonable but not massive number and then there's an awful lot of content that's hidden away behind pre-order bonuses um, future dlc now some of the dlc offering will be free but some of it is going to be chargeable so it's kind of Milestone's traditional model and it's what they've done with the ride series as an example for a very long time and it's a bit frustrating to have an awful lot of content locked away like this um, you know, particularly from launch but the 66 you get out of the box is not too bad um, and as a con goes I mean it's at least it's content and you've got a choice as to whether to buy it or not at the end of the day I've, 
always maintain that with DLC, it's your choice. Um, but overall, as an initial look, it gets a thumbs up from me, and um, it's got a reasonable amount of depth and playability to it, and I'm enjoying it no end. So that's my quick look at uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you've enjoyed this video, please do uh, hit the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.